your own CD burner. There is a reason why I relate this particular event. This powerful moment filled with vitality is engraved solid in my mind, just like a CD burner. I can play it back on demand. Remember, all through this book, I asked you to put down your thoughts and experiences in writing. The act of writing is a psychological technique that solidifies the experience. During your day, you can and you do play the same music CD or MP3 that you love over and over, yes? Similarly, replaying your winning moments, you can have your highs whenever you want. There is a Zen saying. A flower falls, even though we love it. And a weed grows, even though we do not love it. So, learn to say, it is what it is. I will handle it. This statement blocks the escape door to wishful thinking. So, face the facts, dance the dance, and never forget to say, it is what it is. I'll handle it. And then, if necessary, you can also add, this too shall pass. Virginia Satir gives us a further perspective. Life is not the way it is supposed to be. It is the way it is. The way you cope with it makes the difference. I remember the ritual of a doctoral student of mine in clinical psychology. She was doing her internship with us at the hospital. Prior to meeting difficult situations, which caused her stress and anxiety, she literally pulled the sides of her suit jacket, took a deep breath, and said, pull yourself together, get focused. Pull yourself together, get focused. What a beautiful saying. Now, it is your turn to practice. Think about a difficult situation that you were involved in recently. Visualize doing exactly the same as my student. Imagine that you are pulling the sides of your jacket down, taking a step back, saying with conviction, pull yourself together, get focused. Do this now. People who are mostly in the public eye, such as TV personalities, famous singers, politicians and others, are known to use mental rehearsal techniques. To duplicate peak performances, they visualize excellence. This gives them poise, confidence and balance. A concert pianist friend of mine, experiencing jitters and panic prior to giving a recital, would say, Kick yourself in the butt and get going. You are in control and you are the boss. Kick yourself in the butt, get going, and you are in control and you are the boss. Now, it's your turn. Think of a situation that gives you emotional havoc. Realize that you can change what you tell yourself. <laughs> you are the boss. Your thoughts are not. Say, it is not unfair it is what it is. You can handle it. Find an upbeat and preferably a one-liner similar to kick yourself in the butt and get going. You are in control. You are the boss. From now on, use the upbeat self-talk you chose for yourself alongside with the ones suggested in the exercises. <laughs> 